Okay, today I want to make a little video about this amazing plant, curly duck. You can see here it's late summer and it has just really got the seeds developed pretty far along now. You can see these lovely leaves and you can see why they call it curly duck. The lovely little curled leaves here. And you can see it grows pretty tall. It's like on a high stem. Here's another one that's fallen down right here. And this plant is otherwise known as, um, some people call it wild rhubarb. And the leaves right here are very tart, lemon tasting. They're, um, they're great to go ahead and saute up, especially when they're young and new leaves. You can saute them up in dishes, add them to rice dishes. Um, these seeds are also edible. Um, you can go ahead and uh, dry these, pick them there. They need to go a little bit longer, but you can go ahead and pick those, dry them and add them to flour. One of the things um, that you can do with this plant is to actually go ahead and cut the stem up and you can use it like rhubarb to make pie. So it's a rhubarb exchange. One of the really amazing things about this plant is that um, it actually contains more vitamin C than oranges, more vitamin A than carrots, and also has the B, uh, several B vitamins and iron. So it's extremely good for you. Um, Go ahead and pick these leaves. These ones are a little bit damaged by a rust on there, so you want to try to find some that have a little bit nicer looking leaves, but go ahead and pick these and um, freeze them for winter use and uh, lots of different recipes. And they just are a really, really great all-around herb. They have been used medicinally for staunching bleeding, um, for coughs, for, I think there was eye rinse. I, there's, there's so many different uses. I kind of just forget all of the uses but you definitely want to find a nice patch of the curly duck and pick it for your winter use so wonderful plant very heavily used by um, Alaska indigenous people for many many years and um, add it to your repertoire it's very easily recognizable so it's a good beginner um, foraging plant